Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. We've now moved into Excel where we're going to be finding the design wind speed. So the first thing I'm going to do is just input the values we found in the previous video. We found VR to be 46 meters per second, MD was 1, MS was 0.95, and MT was 1. Okay, so I'm just filling in those values. They're constants which are going to be needed soon. Now, um, just to remind you where we're at, the aim now is to find MZ cat, okay, and then the design wind speed. So, just to remind you the formula, it's over here. We've um, already found VR, MD, MS, MT. We need to, now need to find MZ cat. Now, if we look at the table for MZ cat, it's table 4.1a in the standard, and you can see that we have height against terrain multiplier, all right? Uh, we were in terrain category 1, so we were in this category over here. So we're looking at this table, this uh, column, and it says for intermediate values of height and terrain category, use linear interpolation. So the first thing we're going to go do in our table is just input the heights. All right, just to remind you what our structure looked like. It looked like this. Okay, so it was four. So we we have to do it as a height from the base. So it's going to be four meters. Eight plus three is eleven. 14, 17, 20, okay? So 4, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. So I'm just going to input those values into Z. So ground is at zero, There's that's that's the start. We then have 4, 8, so that was plus 4, then we're adding 3. So it's going to be 11, 14, 17, 20. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to input. Now, for MZ cat, you can see that we don't have exact values. So you see 0, 4, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Some values are between these values, so we're going to have to use linear interpolation. So what I've done, I've